हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू इन लेक्चर नंबर फाइव ऑन बायोनोमियल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस वन एग्जांपल ऑन बायोनोमियल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन वी विल सी हाउ वी कैन यूज बायोनोमियल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इन कैलकुलेटिंग सर्टेन टाइप ऑफ प्रॉबलिटीज सो इफ यू आर वॉचिंग दिस लेक्चर सीरीज फर्स्ट टाइम आई सजेस्ट यू टू वॉच लेक्चर नंबर वन टू फोर ऑन बायोनोमियल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फर्स्ट एंड देन गो फॉर दिस लेक्चर ओके फाइन सो लेट स्टार्ट विद दिस एग्जाम्पल फर्स्ट वी अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज गिवन सो एज्यूम दैट द प्रॉबलिटी दैट ए वेफर कंटेंट्स ए लार्ज पार्टिकल ऑफ कंटामिनेशन इज पॉइंट जीरो वन एंड दैट द वेफर्स आर इंडिपेंडेंट दैट इज द प्रॉबलिटी दैट ए वेफर कंटेंट्स ए लार्ज पार्टिकल इज नॉट डिपेंडेंट ऑन द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ एनी ऑफ द अदर वेफर्स now if 15 wafers are analyzed what is the probability that no large particles are found so first we understand what is given uh, here it is given that uh, we have to uh, check whether a wafer contains a large particle of contamination or not so here we have a sample of 15 wafers and these 15 wafers are analyzed they are analyzed for what so each wafer is analyzed for uh, this check that wafer contains a large particle of contamination or not and it is given that probability of wafer containing a large particle of contamination is 0.01 and wafers are independent that means uh, the wafer containing a large particle is not dependent on the other wafer containing a large particle so first we uh, here uh, write that here uh, we have to analyze n equal to 15 wafers and random variable x is defined as number of wafers containing a large particle of contamination we can define the random variable x as number of wafers containing a large particle of contamination and we are analyzing 15 wafers for this large particle of contamination so the possible values of this random variable x the possible values of random variable x are so we are analyzing n equal to 15 wafer for each wafer we are analyzing that that wafer contains a large particle of contamination or not so it is possible that no wafer contains a large particle of contamination one wafer can contain two wafers can contain and up to so on we have to go up to 15 so these are the possible values of x so here number of wafers are finite it is given that wafers are independent as far as we consider the large particle of contamination also it is given that for each wafer containing a large particle of contamination is 0.01 the probability that a wafer contains a large particle of contamination is 0.01 so we can define this event as success we consider success as the event wafer contains a large particle of contamination large particle of contamination wafer containing a large particle of contamination is considered as success and it is given that wafer probability that wafer contains a large particle of contamination is 0.01 so probability of success is given as p equal to 0.01 and this remains constant for each wafer so for each wafer there are only two possibilities either wafer contains a large particle of contamination or it does not contain a large particle of 
contamination. So we can see uh, this experiment satisfies all the conditions of binomial random experiment. First condition is number of trials are finite that is satisfied. Now for each uh, wafer there are only two possible outcomes either wafer contains a large particle of contamination or wafer does not contain a large particle of contamination. Also probability of success remains constant for each trial which is 0.01 and the trials are independent that means wafers are independent as far as we consider the large particle of contamination. So this random experiment is a binomial random experiment because all the four requirements of binomial random experiment are satisfied. So uh, this uh, uh, random variable becomes binomial random variable and if we have binomial random variable uh, we have ready made formula for the probability mass function of that binomial random variable. Okay, so here uh, first we write that x is a binomial random variable or given distribution is a binomial probability distribution uh, with parameters number of trials are 15 and probability of success is 0.01 so if x is a binomial random variable the probability of x success is in n trials is given by probability mass function probability that x equal to x equal to n c x p raise to x times 1 minus p raise to n minus x and possible values of x are from 0 1 to up to n so in this case n is 15 so we write down values of n and p n is 15 so here we write 15 c x p is 0 0.01 to the power x and 1 minus 0 0.01 here that is 0 0.99 raised to 15 minus x and x is 0 1 2 up to n equal to 15 so using this formula for probability mass function we can answer required probability so this uh, prob this is the probability that x wafers will contain a large particle of contamination probability that x wafers will contain a large particle of contamination is given by this formula now what is asked here we are asked to find the probability that no large particles are found so there are 15 wafers and we are asked to find the probability that no large particles are found that means among those 15 wafers there is no wafer which contains a large particle of contamination that means there are zero wafers so possible value of random variable for this event that no large particles are found is x equal to zero so we have to find out this probability for x equal to 0. So first we write that uh, the probability or we can write probability that probability of this event no large particles are found this means no wafer contain a large particle of contamination no wafer contain a large particle of contamination among n equal to 15 wafers so this means this event can be represented by capital X equal to 0 so we have to substitute capital X equal to 0 here 
and we find out corresponding probability so 15 c x that is 15 c 0 point 0 0.01 to the power x that is 0 point 0.99 to the power 15 minus x that is 15 minus 0 now 15 c 0 is 1 this is also 1 and we have point 0.99 to the power 15 and if you calculate this using scientific calculator you will obtain this 0 0.860058 0 up to 6 decimal places so this is the required probability that probability that no but large particles are found is 0 0.860058 and uh, if you are interested in using binomial probability table then also you can go in that way so we are asked to find out probability that x equal to 0 so this i can rewrite as probability that x is less than or equal to 0 because there is no value to the left side of 0 now if i want to use binomial probability table i have to consider n equal to 15 x is 0 and p is 0 0.01 so I have to uh, check under n equal to 15 in the cumulative binomial probability table and uh, under n equal to 15 I will check uh, x equal to 0 row and p equal to 0 0.01 column. So let me uh, open the table. Okay, so we have this binomial probability table. Uh, we can see here n equal to 15 and for 0 0.01 here we have 0 and here we have 0 0.01 so we can see this is 0 0.860 under n equal to 15 uh, we check for x equal to 0 so this is first row is corresponding to x equal to 0 here first column corresponds to 0 0.01 and if we consider this intersection we have 0 0.860 so using cumulative binomial probability table we can directly write that this value is 0 0.860 using binomial table okay, so this is your choice whether you want to use binomial table or using scientific calculator also it is easy okay, so in this way required probability is 0 0.860 using scientific calculator i am able to obtain my answer up to maximum nine decimal places so this is i have written up to six decimal places and we can see up to three decimal places answer is same either using table or using scientific calculator so the required probability is no large particles are found is 0 0.860 so this is very easy example you just have to identify that which discrete probability distribution is appropriate for this example so here we find that this is the example for binomial probability distribution and using the probability mass function of binomial distribution we are able to find out required probability and if you don't want to use this binomial probability uh, function you can directly use cumulative binomial probability table and you can find out uh, this answer so this is all about this session i hope you like it thank you very